The Boogeyman, written and narrated by Dr. Tamara Pizzoli, illustrated by Adam Cox. John C. Boogie was a regular guy who did regular things. He drank coffee out of his favorite mug every morning while he read the paper. He walked his three kids to school with their dog, Shishilia, and he went to work as a shoe salesman during the day. In the afternoon, he'd collect his children from school, bring them home, review their homework, get dinner on the table, read them stories, tuck them into bed, and then call it a night himself. That was his routine, day in and day out. The only lively areas of Mr. Boogie's day were his three lovely children. Well, he thought they were lovely. Anyone else who came in contact with them thought they were absolute terrors. That included their teachers and their babysitter. Even their own grandmother couldn't stand them. John, come get these hooligans. I can't take it anymore. Though John Boogie loved nothing more than caring for his children, there were times when he longed for the days when he was young and carefree. He often thought of the nights he used to spend out on the town with his friends, dancing the night away. I'd love to have a night out every once in a while, Mr. Boogie would say to his co-workers, who would nod and walk away to avoid being asked to babysit. Mr. Boogie continued, I can't get anyone to keep an eye on my kids. For the life of me, I don't understand why. You've got to be kidding me, John. It's because your kids are terrible. They're even banned from the shoe store. The Boogie kids were notorious for just about every trick in the book. You name it, they did it. Hair pulling, booger flicking, running away from caregivers, chronic tantrums, playing in traffic, incessant whining, unstoppable crying, refusing to adhere to a bedtime routine, boycotting toothpaste, the works. Late one Sunday afternoon, Mr. Boogie was preparing dinner when he realized the family was out of pasta. Kids, he shouted from the kitchen. I'm running to the corner store for a second. I want you to mind your manners and behave while I'm gone. I'll be back in a jiffy. The kids all nodded, but as soon as they heard the front door close, it was business as usual. When Mr. Boogie returned, he could barely believe his eyes. He wouldn't have recognized his own living room if his three children hadn't been standing in the middle of it, with each of their weapons still in hand. At that very moment, Mr. Boogie recognized and understood the truth. His kids were out of control. All right, Mr. Boogie yelled in a harsh tone he'd never before used. Sit your bottoms down. The three plopped down right where they were, wide-eyed and shocked. Mr. Boogie continued, You're going to sit here and time out for five minutes while I put away these groceries. And if you don't, there will be consequences. Mr. Boogie wasn't in the kitchen for ten seconds before he heard loud snickers followed by the sound of flapping wings. He ran into the living room just in time to witness his youngest child screeching, Be free! She'd taken the family's pet parrot, Arlene, out of the cage and released it out of their apartment window to the high heavens. That does it, shouted Mr. Boogie. No more Mr. Nice Guy. You all will regret this, mark my words. The children had their dinner in silence, brushed their teeth, and were sent straight to bed. An African proverb says that anger and madness are brothers. John C. Boogie was angry, frustrated, and sorely in need of a break. He thought and thought about how to teach his kids a lesson. Not long after, Mr. Boogie had a bright idea. He made a decision to let it all out. Once his three darlings were nestled snugly in their beds, drifting off to sleep, and all was dark and quiet, Mr. Boogie donned his favorite hoodie and sweatpants from his college days. He decided to bust a move. Mr. Boogie tiptoed over to his stereo system, hit the play button, then cranked up the volume as loud as it would go. Yes, indeed, John C. Boogie danced around his children's bedroom like it was 1999. In fact, he jammed and boogied until just before daybreak. 
were children, didn't sleep a wink. Perhaps it was the barely visible figure flailing about in the dark, or the unfamiliar loud music, or the sleep deprivation, but the boogie children were forever changed that night. Just before sunrise, Mr. Boogie took a bow and gruffed as he panted. And let this be a lesson to you. Behave yourselves or the boogeyman will be back. The children gasped and pulled their covers over their eyes. And from that day on, the boogie children were known as the sweetest, most respectful, calm children in town. When asked what caused such a drastic change in their behavior, they all replied, The Boogeyman! Word spread about the story and really took on a life of its own. Surely even you have heard of the Boogeyman. Right? Copyright 2021 by Dr. Tamara Pizzoli. <laughs>